I went through a lot of difficult uh, challenges. I lost all of my immediate family, um, survived 9-11, survived domestic violence. So it was after losing all of my family members back to back. I lost my dad and my three brothers all seven to eight months apart from each other. And it was after that loss that um, I began meditation and of course prayer to try and figure out what's going on and why is this happening and what's the purpose in all of this. And it was one day sitting on my couch quietly meditating that all of a sudden these inspirational words just started coming to me. I'm like, okay, well, where's this coming from? And then before I knew it, things were just flowing, inspirational quotes and poetry. And I found myself having to keep notebooks everywhere I went, whether I was on the train, whether I was driving, because these inspirations would hit me at any given time. And that's when I discovered this gift for writing inspirational affirmations and words of encouragement. Inspirational and self-help. I got into these two categories because that's where I discovered this natural gift for writing words of inspiration and encouragement. And I always wanted to um, inspire and encourage people, uh, no matter what they were going through. So after going through these, you know, horrific ordeals, and dealing with the tragic losses, you know, I discovered my life's passion and purpose, which is to inspire and motivate and empower and enrich the minds, lives, and spirits of others. So that's what I enjoy doing uh, these days, just inspiring and encouraging people during difficult times and challenging times. What led me to write my first book was, um, I just felt the need to create something to try and um, just enhance the lives of people. And I wanted pe people to receive these messages that I was receiving, and I just wanted to share them in hopes that it made a difference in their lives. My books right now are being published in Amazon, Barnes and Noble, um, Gardeners in the UK. The book is in Germany, different various outlets. And I'm so excited because I always aspire to be a world changer and touch people globally. So to have my book in all of these different outlets across the world is really the most thrilling part of this journey for me. And uh, just the excitement and, and the anticipation of, and hopes of the book reaching people all over the world and helping to um, promote healing and just impact their lives in such a positive way, especially during these times of COVID and um, social injustice and racial um, injustices. And that's what prompted me to write my current book. I hope readers gain a sense of peace, balance, and enlightenment. Um, I just hope that the book can enrich, enrich their lives and just help them create balance and maintain peace during their journey of life and just dealing with the everyday day-to-day -day of things and the things that we face in our lives, the unforeseen obstacles and challenges and tragedies. So I just hope that the book can help recenter people. And like I said, just restore peace. Readers can find me online at Facebook under author Tina Alexis, also on um, Twitter at author T Alexis. I'm even on TikTok at Tina 
at T Alexis 44. And also I'm on LinkedIn under Tina Alexis and also Instagram under author Tina Alexis. Once again, during these times of COVID and um, the social injustices, I know these can be trying times, but I just pray that, you know, everyone just finds peace and can just maintain balance to help them get through these discouraging times and challenging times. And I'm just so grateful and thankful for this opportunity that um, the Clayton County Library has afforded me to, to have this opportunity to speak about the book and the mission of the book. Um, the book, Creating Solace Moments, 21 Powerful Healing Affirmations to Heal a Nation. It's a small book, but it has a very powerful message. 